Well, two men are in jail for shooting a nine-year-old girl during a fight that started by road rage. Carlos and Oscar Santa Maria were arrested this morning and they went before a judge for the first time today. This is video of one of the brothers, Carlos, at his first court appearance. Not on your sides, Christina Myers is live at the court where the men found out their bonds today. And Christina, Oscar's bond was set at $150,000 this morning. What did Carlos get tonight? Stella Guy, he actually got the same thing, so that means that both brothers are being held in jail tonight on $150,000. Now, there was a lot of family here tonight for Carlos. His sister-in-law, the wife of Oscar, actually wanted to talk to us to get their side of the story out. So she says that the brothers did not start the fight, that it was actually the guy in the other vehicle, the one with the children in his back seat, who was trying to run them off the road. And she also says that that other man was the one who pulled a gun and started firing first and that her husband and brother-in-law only shot back in self-defense. So obviously two very different sides of the story there, but no matter what is true, we do know that road rage cases like that one last night can escalate very, very quickly. So we wanted to know exactly what makes people so aggressive behind the wheel. Road rage can take hold like no other form of anger. Turning people who are usually cool, calm, and collected into monsters behind the wheel. I, I didn't know what I was doing at the time. Something just came over me. I saw red. I kind of blacked out. Those are typical answers we hear in road rage situations. Threat assessment expert Steve Albrecht says a primitive rage reflex comes out while many people are driving. The stresses of the day tend to come out in the car where drivers feel very territorial. It's about a power thing that some people have about the they want to control the space they're in. They feel anonymous in their car or in their truck. They can do almost anything without consequences. Albrecht says few road rage cases turn physically violent, but they certainly can, as we saw Thursday night. To avoid innocent victims like the nine-year-old girl in this case, Albrecht says if you do come across someone with road rage, just don't fight back. Sometimes people feel like if they're attacked, you know, verbally or with finger gestures and things like that, they've got to respond. And my answer is don't respond. Um, change lanes, get, get out of that person's way, let them go ahead. Now, in last night's road rage case, the father of the little girl who was shot could still be charged. Those charges are pending as the investigation continues. Reporting live from the southwest side, Christina Myers, KGA 9, on your side.